Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video we will going to look at missing count function which is available in both script as well as uh, chart. So as the name suggests missing count returns the number of missing values based on the data that we have and uh, gives us the meaningful information in case if you want to run some data validation or be a part of the team who needs to check the sanity of data day in day out then this function is very useful so we will see uh, both in the front end uh, and in the back end that how we can use the missing function so let's see first of all in the script so in the script if i go over here in the data so what do we have is a very simple data set to, uh, for our understanding and it has the customer product so this is the customer this is the product they are separated by pipe sign and that's why the delimiter is pipe over here and order number is this unit unit sales is this and unit price is finally this so in some cases if you see the beta cap customer over here you have some missing values right even over here so even in this particular customer as well you have some missing values okay so how we can basically use the missing count in the scripting let's go ahead and see this now to create a missing count you need to simply what use the missing count function as it is straightforward but we will going to create a table let's call it something like uh, missing count will it be fine okay uh, load and then customer because we want to know by customer that uh, the missing count value or missing order number so if that is our requirement we will say missing count and we want to get the missing count of order number and we will put give it a name by using the alias as space missing order um, maybe by customer that's its new name column name missing order by customer and it is these uh, this both customer and order number this customer field and order number is coming from the temp table so we will give it a keyword over here resident temp and then group by so whenever we have the functions or the aggregation we use the group by group by customer yeah that's the only dimension if there will be more than one then we would have used both customer and product all right now this is one that you can get the missing count by customer but suppose if you want to get the entire count entire missing count then you can create something like load missing count and simply say order number so this will give you the overall count in the as total missing count resident all right so save this um load the data all right it is loaded go to the analysis create a table over here maybe add the dimension which is uh, let's start with the total missing count how about that uh, for that we will take a different one which is KPI because it's a single count and we will add a measure um, total missing count and sum so total missing count is what three now let's get the dimension customer and let's get another dimension which is missing order by customer so you have one missing count over here for order and cantility this is the it has two missing count or the two values or two orders numbers which are missing so this way you can probably have your dashboard where at the top you are showing your kpi that how much is the missing count and finally what is the uh, where the values are really missing so it's a very informative uh, you know information or or data for you 
Now, how you can use the missing count in the front end? Well, very straightforward. We will try to repeat this. We will create the measure and go into the expression mode and say missing count. Missing count what? Order number. That is it. Click apply. So what do you get is the similar value. The only difference is that you get the total as well. And that's the total over here as well that we pre-calculated it. And as I've explained in various videos, uh, the, the benefit of having the pre-calculated value like this is that uh, your front end engine, the engine which, which is responsible for doing the calculation, then the lesser the calculation, better the performance. So it's an optimization technique as well. So wherever you have the scenarios where you know the value uh, something like this you don't need to cal if you want to avoid that and can use the back end for the calculation you can you should do that so that's about how you can apply it apply the missing count function in both script as well as uh, in the front end and in the missing count function you have only the distinct feature the distinct uh, keyword that you can specify over here but in the front end analysis over let's say here you have along with distinct you have a lot of other features like set expression you already have distinct you have all you have total keyword which you can apply and get most out of it so that's about it and uh, i'll meet you now in the next video with a new topic